mushu pork recipe serves four. One half pound lean pork, six Chinese dried mushrooms, one quarter cup dried black cloud ear mushrooms, 25 dried tiger lily buds, one cup cabbage, julienne, six tablespoons vegetable oil, two eggs, two garlic cloves crushed, one teaspoon garlic cloves minced, one half teaspoon salt, two green onions minced. For the marinade, to taste, freshly ground pepper, one quarter teaspoon fresh ginger minced, two teaspoons cornstarch, one teaspoon dry sherry, one tablespoon soy sauce. For the sauce, one teaspoon tapioca powder or cornstarch, one tablespoon light soy sauce, four tablespoons chicken stock or water, one half teaspoon sesame oil. For the hoisin dipping sauce, one quarter cup hoisin sauce, two tablespoons water. All right, the next dish we're going to demonstrate today, Chef Sai is going to demonstrate the mushu pork also known as wood shavings pork. To begin this, Chef is going to demonstrate the art of making mushu pancake. Chef, take it away. Thank you. All right, now the dough basically is a hot water dough. You make the dough, you rest the dough for a half hour. Uh, and then, of course, you're going to knead the dough. Let me get this other way. Okay, thank you. And uh, we start to knead the dough. Again, the pancake size, you, 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 you all depend upon the party and uh, for uh, as I said for a very high-end party this is going to use as an intermediate course or even use as the first course yes you can make it smaller uh, family style you can make a bigger one you know it's up to you uh, I'm going to do uh, the medium side today okay after I finish this again I'm going to cut in half I start to roll it so, Chef, this is the same dough you used to make the pot yeah, sticker, correct? Yeah, you have to use the uh, hot water dough. Okay, remind me why we have to use, oh, you can because only use hot water dough? If you use cold water dough, and once this cooked, and when the pancake will cool off, it's going to be like a piece of paper. Okay. It tastes awful. All right. But if you use hot water dough, and use a moisture towel covered it, mm -hmm. it's going to be soft, nice, okay? Okay. It's, otherwise, it's no good. Uh, just not... Uh, you don't look at fresh, okay? Uh, there's a reason why sometimes you get it from the market today. You know, you get from the supermarket, they are actually frozen ones. Right. The difference between the frozen one and the fresh one, the frozen one, once you steam them, nice and hot, once the moment it starts to cool off, you try to roll them. It's not going to work. And it's, it's going to be uh, broken, cracked, and no good. But if this is a uh, hot water dough, fresh made it, you can sit there for a while. Actually, after you finish them, you can put in the zipper bag, you put it in the freezer. Then, they make the difference. The frozen one homemade, and the one uh, made from the uh, uh, food company, production-wise, the texture is totally different. Oh. Okay, right now, I'm going to move on. I'm going to try to make the pancake. I'm going to make two of them, okay? Just do a little demo. Again, I've got a flat dish, and uh, there's a couple tricks here I'm going to introduce to you. Again, size is not the issue. It all depends upon you want to use for appetizer, use it as an intermediate course or the main course, okay? Okay, I'm starting to make a little shape here. Same thing, this one, to make the size pretty much compatible. All right, now the important part is you got to use vegetable oil. Uh, old days you use the sesame oil, but sesame oil, yes, it does give you the fragrance, uh, but it's too fattening. So we use just regular oil. If you want to use canola oil, it's fine. But the reason why you want to put a little bit of oil in here because you're actually going to uh, put this piece on top of this. You start to roll them. So later on, when you use quick pan sear method, 
um, cook this pancake maybe a minute, uh, the most is two, and you can peel them, separate them. So you oh, okay. each action resolve into two pancakes. So the oil is just so when we take them yes, apart, yes, they come yes, apart a lot yes, easier. Yes. But that is a very important yes, yes. step. If you don't put oil in between, oh, it's going to be one thick piece. Oh, okay. Okay, so we start to, to re now you see, I want to shift in the beginning, and then when you start to develop, it will be nice. You don't have to worry about it, because otherwise you might be very out of shape. Chef, I see a lot of similarities uh -huh. in this compared to making flour tortillas. Yes, that's uh, the um, Mexican uh, uh, culture, but Mexican Flour tortilla use lard. We do not use anything, just a hot water. So this is better for my diet then? Absolutely. Absolutely. So ladies and gentlemen, making the pancake is really uh, 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 it's, it's a, it's a little uh, long-term process. So you really need to spend a little more time on this. And patient, it can't rush. You rush, you're going to get a bad one. So I need to just do it like this. I'm almost getting there. That will be a pretty decent size. So, Chef, this is basically one thickness all the way through. Yes, yes. Uh, there's no machine you can just, you know, quickly get this done. But you just have to use your, this little tool here, play some magic part of this. Okay, I'm going to do one more time. All right, that's pretty decent. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, turn the fire on. Remember, it is highly recommended to use this type of a wok, non sticking, because you don't have a headache, you know, and it's nice and smooth. You don't need oil either. Repeat, no oil, okay? And just simply put it in there. All right, just let it, and use medium heat. All right, eventually you're going to see bubbles. Then you now. It's almost done for one side and you flip over, you do another side, okay? In the meantime, Chef, I might ask you to watch the pancake for me, okay? okay? In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, one of the important part of the mushu uh, is actually you need to do the uh, egg pancake. That's basically, that's, that's must, that's part of the very important ingredients. Mushu pork without eggs is not mushu pork anymore. So we need to do a little uh, uh, egg pancake uh, uh, for garnishing the mushu pork. In order to do that right now, I just want to do a little demo on this one. This is just a, two eggs. Uh, traditionally, you don't add anything, just go for it. But in order to create a little, uh, uh, the bonding, uh, uh, make the make the, uh, the, uh, the eggs and the little cornstarch to put it together, you create a little bit the, the, uh, the power of the bonding. So you're not going to, the pancake is not to, it's not going to be fall apart. So you add a little bit of cornstarch. And then I usually, I want to have a little bit of flavor. All right, you know, cooking, flavor number one. So you got to put a little flavor in there. Please watch my pancake, okay? In the meantime, we're going to just uh, slowly mix well on this thing. So chef, the cornstarch is for binding agent? Yes, yes, it's, help bind, your, it's a binding agent. So yes. your pancake stays yes. together better. You can do without it, but the, uh, the egg pancake will be, will be very fragile. Oh, okay. All right? So uh, this is a shortcut. I mean, if you're in the kitchen, one of, you, need, you need to make 100, and then you break 20 of them, so you spend more time to do it. A little magic on the cornstarch, hey, you avoid the problem. So the cornstarch is your little secret then? Yes, yes, yes. Chef, how's my pancake? I think it looks pretty good, Almost Chef. Almost done, is it? Yes, you got it. Did pop up already? Yes. All right, here we are. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear my glove. Okay, and I'm going to bring to the board. That little oil will make the difference. Wow, okay, it just came right it. apart. You see, nice and soft, flexible. It's not like a piece of paper. This is not a frozen one. This is real stuff. So we are now, we're going to just fold it here, ready to use for later when the mush pork is cooked. And we put it in here, Then I like to use this piece of towel. It's a little wet, a little wet, okay. Is that here. to just keep it moist? Just keep it moist because uh, we don't want it dry. In the meantime, I'm going to hit the lock with a little oil. 
just a little wool. All right. Turn the stove on. All right. And this is the egg. Yeah, I'm going to make an egg pancake. Okay. Okay. There we are. Basically, uh, when we do the egg pancake here, it's just basically uh, it's for garnishing. But mushu pork, you cannot have a mushu pork without egg pancake. Okay. And without egg pancake, it's not a mushu pork anymore. So you want this as thin as possible, like a crepe? Yes, yeah, yeah. This is okay. This is fine. Good, good, very good. We're all right. You know, I put a little uh, cornstarch in there to serve as a bunny agent. I also have a pinch of salt because I want the food to have a little flavor. Flavor. Okay? All right. All right, now the eggs are almost cooked. All right, so what we can do is we're going to uh, put on the plate. Let it cool off a little bit. Later we're going to cut them in uh, small julienne. All right, at this moment, Chef, uh, I would like to have you to introduce the ingredients for the mushu pork. All right, for ingredients for mushu pork, we have a julienne of pork. We have fresh chopped garlic, cornstarch, sesame oil, salt, dark soy, white pepper. We have some hoisin sauce. We have some julienne of Napa cabbage, crushed garlic. And chef, we have some new ingredients here. We have, these are wood ear mushrooms. Yes. And these are the famous tiger lily buds, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And green onion and chicken salt. Is there anything you can tell us about you know, uh, these ingredients? Tree ear actually in Chinese is called muar. Muar translated directly into English is called wood ear. It's a family of the fungus and like a mushroom family. Uh, farmer picked them and uh, the actual dry them and he put in the bag and you can sell as a dry goods. So by the time you need it, you use warm water, uh, you soak them for a uh, half hour and it becomes soft. Then you can cut any size you want, you can use for many, many uh, different dishes. However, do not cook them when it is dry, do not cook it in hot water on the stove. Um, lily bud is a, actually, it's a, it's a flower, it's a lily flower. and. Uh, um, or, Farmer picked them out, so dry them out, and then uh, put in the back. And when the time you use it, use a hot water, soak it in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. The reason why you want to use uh, the, the lily flower is because it's a special flavor. In other words, in traditional mushu pork recipe, without egg pancake, egg pancakes, without mushu, uh, without tree ears, without lily buds, it become a shredded pork, stir-fried with vegetables. It's no longer mushu pork. So the special character of the mushu pork, you must have lily buds. So these are the you two ingredients the with the egg yes. to make this an that's authentic major, mushu that's, pork. Yes, that's the major, major ingredient for this particular dish. All right, okay. Chef, take it away. All right, Show now some. I'm going to do the cooking. First, I'm going to put a small amount of oil. I've got to uh, uh, marinate a little bit the, the, the beef. Uh, the, I'm sorry, the pork, a little soy sauce, a little soy sauce, okay, and uh, a little oil. And I could use a little bit of cornstarch. The purpose of using cornstarch is actually coating the, the pork or beef, whatever the protein. And when you oil blanching them, uh, you keep the, uh, the meat moist. You secure the meat outside and the moisture inside. Okay. Oh, like, so that's yes. what you mean by oil blanching. Yes. And also you put a little oil here because you want to separate every single piece of the uh, meat. So when you blanch them, they won't stick together. Okay. Okay, like this is fine. Usually, ladies and gentlemen, I will recommend you to marry this about a half hour before and this is fine and we start to do the uh, procedure. Now the oil is a little bit too hot. I'm going to slow down a little bit. 
I'm going to put the uh, oil, put the meat in the oil and start to blanch it. So chef, okay. in the end when we do this oil blanching, all our ingredients together will have that nice texture. Yes. Whereas some, whereas if you didn't do the oil blanching, the meat might be cooked and the vegetables might be exactly. overcooked. Exactly. Some of them okay. will be undercooked, some of them will be overcooked. You don't want that to happen. So basically when we pre, when we're oil blanching, again we're doing it so when we finish cooking the protein with the vegetables, they all finish at the same time. That's right. So uh, blanching is the way to balance the cooking and especially meat you need oil blanching. You cannot put the meat in the hot water. It won't work. Okay. However, in some situations, seafood, you might be able to do it. But remember, any type of meat, blanching-wise, you must use oil blanching. Remember, the oil cannot be too hot. It's going to be medium heat rather than very, very high heat. Okay? The moment you see the, the uh, meat, the color change, you know it's almost done. Alright? So what we're going to do is we're going to strain them out. In the meantime, we use, use whatever the leftover of the oil, we start putting... Green onion. Yes. Garlic. Garlic onion to start with all right again this is one different cooking method different than western cooking is you must put the garlic and the onion in first a lot of western cooking you can put the garlic and onion later this is a no-no in chinese cooking chinese cooking one of the basic skill is onion garlic ginger go in first However, some situation, you don't put a garlic. You only put ginger and onion, such as a lot of seafood, you do that. Meat, you can use three of them, or you can use garlic and onion, you can skip the ginger. Again, if this is going to be the ginger beef, yes, you do put ginger in there, okay? So after I put this, I'm going to put in the uh, cabbage. I'm going to put three ear lily butts all in there. I do a little stir fry. Now, again, even though we have a recipe to follow, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to use a little more vegetable, fine. You want to do a vegetable mushu without meat, that's fine too. You want you won't make the difference. But you must have a, a lily butt, you must have tree ears, you must have an egg garnishing. Of course, if you are vegetarian and you cannot eat eggs, then do without eggs. So, Chef, in essence, we could also do chicken, too. Yes, absolutely. A lot of people do the chicken breast. You, you shred the chicken breast, marinate with a little egg white. Wonderful. Okay. Now we are through the cooking. We add the pork in. Okay, right now, again, I use soy sauce. For the flavor as well as for the color. So all of a sudden, Chef, you can smell the aromas coming yeah. out. Yeah. Wonderful. Not bad, huh? Very okay. good. And I uh, oh, like have used a touch of white pepper to bring the flavor out. Okay. And you must use a little uh, wine. And this particular recipe, you do not use uh, a stock. Because basically, stock is going to ruin the texture. You cannot wrap in the pancake. For those people, you want to have your mushu pork with spice in, you can add a little chilies, whatever you want. And that you can develop from there. But this is a traditional recipe as the way I'm doing now. I like to just add a pinch of salt. And now, I like to taste my food. How is it, Chef? Delicious. Beautiful. Okay, right now, I would like to put the finished part right here. Nicely presented. 
All right, here we are. I'm not done yet. After that, I'm going to change a new uh, sanitation glove. So it's like you're making a julienne yes, of yes. your yes. egg crepe. Yes. Again, you know, if you worry about uh, overtaking eggs, you, you don't have to use them all. But you know, uh, it, you know, they, um, this is good. This is very good. But you know, you can use them all. So it is your again, it is your choice. But uh, once you know the basic skill, you 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 know, you you can develop any you want as long as you are not stay away from the basic skills. All right. And again, this is one of the ingredients that yes. are yes. essential for yes. mushu pork. After I put the eggs on top of the, the mushu, ha, ah, look nice, huh? Very nice. All right. A little on top. Beautiful. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a finished product. However, I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, make the uh, mushu pork roll for you. Okay, here we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove all this away. We're going to clean up a little bit. Okay, now we need the pancake. See? How, so, how nice it is? See how soft? Huh? That's what it should be. Okay, you can stretch them. No problem. Now, we need to add a little bit of hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce, ladies and gentlemen, is the dipping sauce in traditional Chinese cuisine. A lot of people use it for stir fry. Uh, we are not recommend that, okay? You can use it for part of the mixture of the sauce, but if you use the hoisin sauce only, that's not Chinese cuisine. Okay, here we are. We apply a little bit. As far as how much sauce you're going to put in there, it is your pleasure. Okay, it is your taste. Do any you do anything you want. All right. Now I'm gonna I can put a little scallion. This one I can make a shredded scallion as well. One way or another, you, you can do that. Okay, here we are. And then now I like to make. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, uh, need a spoon. Excuse me. Chef, are you kind of making like a Chinese burrito here? Yes, yes, yes. It's almost like that. The only thing is I think this one is a little bit healthier than the burrito. All right. Now I'll put it in here. Would you like to clean this one for me? Sure. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a mushu roll. Here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, this uh, is a uh, second course or first course of the Chinese banquet, Mushu Pancake Roll. Beautiful. Thank you.